Hey everybody, you do really here. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. We are on our second video with Natsuiko, and we still haven't seen hide nor hair of him really. I can't wait to meet up with him, and I can't wait to see what he thinks of the drawing that uh, Ron showed him. Well, I don't know if he showed him yet, but I'm sure he's going to show him if he hasn't shown him the picture that Mikoto drew of him. Alright, so we're in this village right now, uh, trying to see if any of the villagers know anything about him. We're going to show this god-awful drawing around and see if anybody in the village recognizes him. Alright, so you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Hold on, we're still in Japan? That can't be right. You do realize we are headed for America, yes? And that is not a distance you can travel in a day. Uh, yeah, actually it should be. Oh wait, but this is the Taisho era. Oh, but a ship's at size, so... Uh, um... I thought that too, that there's some kind of strange disparity about the t amount of time they've been traveling and how fast they should be traveling. It may not take long in your era, but in this time it is no short trip. You believe that I came from the future now? Uh, of course not! Wait! What? That's supposed to be a drawing of a person? Are you kidding me? Did you draw this boy? Uh, er, is this a monster? Ugh, that picture is making my skin crawl. Anyway, step lively now. You're in the way of paying customers. Well, none of those reactions were unexpected. I know! I am only doing this because I do not know what else I can do. Whoa, you finally admitted it. You there, sir! I have not finished speaking with you yet. W what else do you want? Do you know where our guns are sold? W what the heck are you asking? If I am going to fight that barbarian, then using his own tools against him is a good strategy. That's true, I guess. Guns? Yes, guns. Is that some sort of new breed of fish? Sorry, but we don't see any guns fish around here. Heck, I doubt anybody around here even heard of that breed. Try some other town. So, there really aren't any guns in this era. At first I chalked it up to you being naive and sheltered from the world, but Masamune said he hadn't heard of them either. But, according to history, they're supposed to have existed for centuries before the Taisho era. I hadn't honestly thought they would be, but it appears that guns won't be easy to acquire. I'll have to find some other way to fight that barbarian. Huh, <laughs> as I thought. You are not nearly woman enough to defeat me. I admit I defeated you, and submit to me. <laughs> I will never give in to that man. Hmm, what's with all the sudden commotion? The usual lively chatter of a small town street has suddenly gotten louder. Looking outside, I noticed everyone had stopped too. Like waves parting around a rock, Everyone began stepping aside, out of the middle of the road. Ah! Oh, that! What the heck? Is this some kind of royal procession? Of a sort, yes. An automobile, imported from overseas. They were rare enough in Japan that only a few very wealthy individuals owned one. I just so happened to be acquainted with some of those few. Ah, oh, my lady. It has been some time, your lordship. Who's that? A relative of mine. He's very... eccentric. Some of my family consider him a wastrel. What a surprise. I hardly expected to stumble across you in this rustic locale. Last I had heard, you had been issued a duty by the world. Yes, indeed I have. It is nearly time for us to leave Japan, so I am just as surprised as you that we had a chance to meet. You're leaving Japan? Oh, yes. With a duty for the world, you would be sent to places like America or Europe, wouldn't you? If I recall correctly, a young man from the Nijo family was joining you. Is he your companion here? No, your lordship. This boy is... a servant of sorts to me. <laughs> ah, I see. My apologies. Still, what a delightful coincidence this is. You see, I just returned from a joint to America the other day myself. You visited America? That I did. It seems I'm the first man who is not a government official to make the trip. 
Though, that's hardly an accomplishment given my family connections. How long did it take you to get to America, sir? Sarata, hush! Hmm? If I recall, it took about two or three weeks, I suppose. And now then, I must be on my way. I await your safe return home with an eager heart, Lady Guardian of Japan. What on earth? Is the trip to America truly that short? I knew something was off. I've been on the ship for over a week, yet we still haven't left the borders of Japan. Any way you look at it, we are way behind where we should be. Sarata is correct. There are entirely too many things that simply do not make sense. America is a country that has always seemed like a distant land to me. And it seemed logical to me that our journey would not leave the country until all the espers were aboard, but... No. Hmm? Our journey is what the world ordered. Questioning the will of the world is forbidden. That is why I did not notice any of this. How could I not have realized something this simple before now? You know, I'm still not really clear on what you guys mean by the world. Is it some sort of god to you people? Not a god, no. However, in the sense that it is not something to be questioned or disobeyed, yes, it is very much similar to a god. Traveling to America takes only two, maybe three weeks. Over a week has passed since the last Esper came aboard, yet we are still in Japan. Could there be still more Espers to find? No. Right before we bought Kohoro aboard, Masamune mentioned something about her being the last Esper. Is what was happening somehow the will of the world? Or was there a person or group operating in the shadows, attempting to prevent the ship from reaching America? Thank you, Sorata. For what? If you had not come with me, I would not have noticed a multitude of things. Ugh. Something about hearing you actually thank someone gives me the chills. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? For a child, you certainly do not act cute and childlike. So? I don't particularly enjoy being thought of as cute and childlike. Besides, if you hadn't let me come along with you, I wouldn't have been able to confirm a number of things myself. I'd been forbidden from leaving the ship after all. By whom? Masamune, duh. Masamune, of course. He even tried to stop us earlier today, remember? I'll have to be careful not to tip him off when we return. If he hasn't already noticed. True, a lecture from Masamune does seem like it would be insufferably long-winded. Oh no! Oh, hey. What are you two doing out here? You get sent shopping too? Uh, yeah, something like that. Jeez, you guys sure have a lot of bags. Yeah, we had to take a whole lot of food supplies, you know. Anyway, we're headed back. Make sure you don't get left behind, got it? Did you remember to get a newspaper for me? No. Who'd waste money on that waste of paper anyway? A simple newspaper is too expensive for you? I did not realize that you were so stingy. A girl like you reads newspapers. Bah. We're living up in the clouds on some ship. Who needs to bother with newspapers? All proper young ladies are up to date on current affairs. I will buy one myself then. You lot go on and lug those heavy looking bags back to the ship by yourselves. I will not feel the least bit sorry if you were all sore. Ugh, what an irritating woman. If you were a guy, I'd punch you right in your smug mouth. Great, Akito and Ron found us. I sure hope they don't tell Masamune they saw us. It cannot be helped. If it happens, just deal with it as best you can. Hey, aren't you going to back me up? Why on earth would I do something like that? Oh, wait here just a moment. I need to go and buy a newspaper. You should back him up because you're the one who dragged him out here in the first place. And so my trip into town came to an end. For all my effort, I didn't find any leads about the Barbarian. However, I did come to an important realization. For whatever reason, the ship was taking us on our journey at what amounted to a snail's pace. Was that the pace the world mandated our journey take, or were we being delayed that badly by an outside influence? I did not know. That knowledge did little to help my search for the infiltrator, but it felt like I had made significant progress. That kid wound up being very helpful in a way I had not expected. 
I never would have realized this if he had not been there to ask that wastrel about his trip to America. What's up? But if I had not been there, Sorato would not have thought to speak to him. We both needed to be there together to make this realization. And Masamune attempted to stop that. What if... What if there really was someone who was defying the world and attempting to keep us from reaching our destination? She's starting to suspect Masamune. If anyone was in position to do that, it would be the person who controlled the flow of information between the ship and the world, Masamune. No one recognized that my drawing was a portrait of a human being at first, correct? That's right. But Masamune knew it was a man before I even had a chance to explain what it was to him. Wait, that's not true. You told him that it was a picture of a guy who'd attacked the ship, remember? Oh, I did do that, didn't I? Jeez, get it together. Maybe I am simply overthinking things. Goodness, I am exhausted. All this doubting and suspicion is mentally draining. Mikoto, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Well, what is this all about? Mr. Sakaya told us all about it. He said you and Suzuhara are trying to discover who the traitor is, all by yourselves. I'm so sorry we keep leaving all the big burdens on you alone. It, it's not really a burden to me. But I'm still sorry, and thank you so much for doing it for us. Stop thanking me. It's disconcerting. <laughs> Guess who's blushing? I am not blushing. You aren't the only girl on the ship, you know. Why don't you try asking the other two for help sometimes? Why... why would it have to be the girls? Can't she ask the guys for help, too? My powers aren't the kind that can protect or save people. That's made me jealous of you more than once. If there's something I can do to help you, even a little, that would make me really happy. Nanami! I have never spent much time with girls my own age before. I am not certain exactly what I am expected to say in this sort of situation. You don't have to say anything, but let us know next time so we can help you, okay? I will. That noise. Might I borrow your kunai for a moment? Here. Ouch! Good aim. <laughs> Dude, that was mean. You didn't have to actually hit me with it. It's your fault for eavesdropping. As someone aiming to improve the ship's atmosphere and entertainment opportunities, I approve of this. <laughs> Kakaru. Um, okay. Sakuya, why are you crying? Ah, oh, my stubborn, headstrong childhood friend, who always did the opposite of what she felt out of sheer spite, finally has other friends. <laughs> Your little Mikoto is growing up. Ladies, please treat her well. Sakuya, you are embarrassing me! Ugh, why is he like that? He completely ruined my chance to thank them. Anyway, the picture you showed us before, that was the person who attacked the ship, right? Huh? You even drew a picture of that person so that you could try to find him. I'm so sorry. I had no idea or else I would have tried to help. When I showed the portrait to you, did I tell you that it was of a man? Hmm? No, you just asked if we'd seen anyone like that. I'm afraid I couldn't tell at first. Sorata! You don't have to yell, I'm right here, and I'm totally within earshot, jeez. True, from what I remember, you did just charge straight ahead and demand whether or not they'd seen this person. And Masamune? Yes, I do not remember exactly what I asked of him, unfortunately. If he was not told that the portrait was supposed to be of a man first. Sorry, I don't know anything about guns or about that man. It could have been a guess. I mean, maybe he thought because I had short hair it was a guy. How would he know that piece of information? It could be a guess. 
if someone is interfering with the plans of the world. Is something wrong? I could use assistance. But if I told these two what I am thinking right now, they would... No, it's nothing. There is a traitor among us. Unfortunately, that is a fact. Our problem lies in discovering who it might be. But I have learned of a new responsibility. One of us is deliberately defying the world. We have not known each other long. I do not know most of these people very well at all. Even still, no matter who the traitor is, I think I would be sad once I found out. Huh? Mr. Masamune? I think he's a super nice person. Anything odd? No, not particularly. Oh, he has been saying he's gotten headaches a whole lot more lately. Maybe he caught a cold. Masamune, he's really useful to have around. Huh? Other than that, nothing strikes me, no. He's kinda nice, I guess, but he never does anything when you really need him. Just the other day, when Yuiga dragged me out of my room for absolutely no reason whatsoever, he didn't lift a finger to stop him. Then there's Otomaru, who won't stop talking in my head. Shukuri keeps glaring at me for even the teensiest things. And Shirunoi insists on trying to make me eat those ungodly culinary travesties. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of this ship. I want to leave. The more I hear, the more I'm starting to pity Masamune. Jeez. We were traveling for ages, yet we never seemed to be getting closer to our destination. A suspicious response to an admittedly poor rendition of the man who attacked us. It looked like Masamune was a traitor, or at least he was actively defying the world's will. Having come to that conclusion, Sorata and I began a more in-depth investigation into what sort of man he was, but... This will not be easy. Are you okay? You look kind of tired. Hmm? Er, uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. You don't have to say anything. I won't ask. Just let me help you in any way I can. Should I tell her my theory, as disturbing as it is? I am not sure. No, if I did, I would only upset her unnecessarily. She seems quite fond of Masamune, and I currently have no proof of my hypothesis. I cannot erode her trust in him like that. No one would be happy if she were to lose her smile. Um, Mikoto, about Mr. Masamune, are you... No, no, of course not. I am terribly sorry if I have given you the wrong impression. Really? Yes, of course. I only asked about Masamune to, er, uh, make small talk. That is all. <laughs> what? Shut up and butt out already. Come on, man. You can't expect me to sit back and watch you yell at a lady. A man is supposed to be kind and considerate to ladies at all times. It's not just Shinonui that I'm pissed at. I'm yelling at that blabbermouth who can't keep his damn thoughts crammed inside his own damn head, too. Aww. Looks like those two are up to no good again. Sheesh. Akito was angry with Heishi and Nanami again. This was quickly becoming a common event, and I'm sure the reason was the same as usual. What did you attempt to make this time? Cookies. Cookies? That sounds awfully mundane for the two of you. So, how did you mess it up this time? All sugar and nothing else? We didn't break anything, though we did use up all the eggs. <laughs> I'm surprised they even bothered to use eggs. Actually, it, it would probably be like all sugar and some of um, Nanami's ninja supplement that turned Masamune into the uh, megalomaniac that turned the Norn into his empire. Wait, we just went shopping for supplies like two days ago. Sounds like a legitimate reason to be mad. So, 
Itsuki, who was friends with both of them, stepped in to play mediator. I am not so sure it is a role that suits him all that well, though. Oh, Monaki, it was an honest mistake. Cut them some slack, hey? Ugh, stop calling me by that stupid nickname. It gives me chills. I know, Aki is just weird for him. He doesn't look like an Aki. Well, and the fact that Itsuki is the only one who calls him that is really weird. Jeez, you don't have to be mean about it, Aki. Besides, I think it sounds cute. It does not. It makes me sound like some kind of wimp. Knock it off, you prissy dweeb. <laughs> oh, well, that made Itsuki mad. <laughs> really? To be honest, I think it fits you. Mr. Hyoko's make me cower in fear, Aki. <laughs> Did you just call me a coward? Well, when it comes to Hyoko's. Huh. If you've got a problem with it, how about you use your powers to shut me up, eh? Do you really want to say that, Itsuki? I think you're a lover, not a fighter. Oh, I'd love to see what it is you can do. Powers? A good old knuckle sandwich is more than enough for you. Yeah, that's what I'm figured. No! Uh, Mikoto, are you sure we shouldn't try to, you know, stop them? Can't she, like, stick a barrier up between them when they put a little distance between themselves? Ugh. This is why I cannot stand hot-headed men. Itsuki is not hot-headed, usually. That Akito had a temper was obvious just from looking at him. Itsuki seemed easygoing at first glance, but his fuse was a short one. Really? In fact, he might be the biggest problem of the two, as there was no telling what might trigger his lightning-quick temper. The only thing he ever gets mad about is when people are mean to the girls. Whoa! Hey, whoa! Itsuki, Akito! What you two getting a fight for? Calm down, both of you! Shut up and butt out, you brat! Hey, I know brat! I'm older than you are, Akito! Yeah, team up with Akito! <laughs> Back off, hey! You'll just get in the way! Oh! What? Oh, that does it! Now you're both asking for it! Oh my god, a three-way fight? Ah... <sighs> That is enough, all of you! Cease this bickering at once! Now how am I supposed to force them to stop? My powers won't be effective. Uh, Ron, you do something about those two. Seriously, you're asking him? Ron? I think he's fallen asleep standing up. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Wadaboshi is asleep. I doubt any of this will wake him up. Oh! Are there any useful elders on this ship? Cut it out, all of you, right now. Masamune! I don't know what started this, but fighting is strictly forbidden aboard this ship. Masamune's shout got everyone's attention. Well done, Masamune. At least there is someone sensible around here we can rely on. It's all those two idiots' fault. They ruined all the eggs. They ruined the eggs? Heishi, don't tell me you two did it again. We didn't want to ruin them. We ran out of the cookies that always seemed to be around in the kitchen, so we were going to make some more. Yeah, and who's going to cry over a few eggs gone missing? Who cares, right, Masa? No, the eggs being ruined is a serious thing. They're nutritious, easy to prepare. What? So you're saying it's okay to chew people out over a few eggs? What about that no-fighting policy you just talked about? That isn't what I meant. There, see, Aki? Masamune agrees with me. Anyone who whines about a few stupid eggs is a sissy who is afraid of harmless yokos. <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah, you just had to go and start again. I'm really surprised Itsuki apparently seems to be kind of holding his own against Aki. No, I'm calling him Aki. I cannot believe it! You two are starting this again? You should have put a barrier around one of them while they were separated, Mikoto. Whoa, whoa, enough. Stop it right now, both of you. I mean it. S stop Hey! This time, Masamune's attempt to restore order fell upon deaf ears. Apparently, he was not enough to stop those two hotheads on his own. Aha! Gah! Damn it! Ugh! Too tight! Too tight!
Come on, guys, cut it out. You're scaring poor Koharu. <laughs> so sorry, man. I won't do it again. Promise. Now let me go, please. Yeah, you say that every time. It hasn't seemed to stop you yet. I'm thinking that today you guys need some harsher punishment. Oi, Kakeru, wait. If you're looking for a punishment, hanging sounds best. <laughs> it's a little drastic. Ah, oh, Nanami, I'll admit the other way around is a turn-on, but I'm really not that into letting myself get tied up. <laughs> Upsy-daisy. <laughs> he is having too much fun. The vines wound together into a thick trunk, dragging all three high up towards the ceiling. <laughs> Damn it, put me down. Yikes! Now that's cruel. Hey, you were the one who suggested hanging was the best idea. <laughs> I didn't say anything about upside down. D what did you mean by the neck? <laughs> Ooh, now that was scary. Itsuki, how'd you get loose? I was thinking that myself too. <laughs> Struggled like a man faced with death, really. I mean that. I'd seriously rather die than look that pathetic with women present. <laughs> it's all about keeping his image. But never mind me. Are you sure Muscle's okay? He hasn't made so much as a peep. What happened to him? Oh, no! Huh? Masamune was in that mess? Uh-oh. I might have squeezed him a little too hard. him down this instant! <coughs> Mr. Masamune, are you okay? Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Oops. Guess my control slipped for a minute. Can't believe I let that happen. Kakeru. Yuiga! Yeah? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, Masamune. That was my fault. No, it's okay. I know you didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Koharu stared him into a apology. Yikes, you really are mad, aren't you, Koharu? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. We kind of let that get out of hand, didn't we? Koharu, when did you learn that trick? Hmm? Trick? What trick? Uh, nothing, never mind. So, she is doing it unconsciously. Impressive. Sheesh, if apologizing comes so easy to you lot, Akito exempted, why not just do so from the start? They are not bad people at heart. None of the espers aboard are, really. You gotta know your limits, Masamune. You can't just jump into a fight between a bunch of guys and try to stop them all by yourself. <laughs> I know I'm the big and clumsy type, and thanks for the concern, but I'm alright. Masamune smiled at Sarata, like everything that he had just been through was nothing. Okay, and there we gotta end this video. We still haven't seen Natsuiko around yet, come on, how long is it gonna take for us to join him on his route? Ah. Oh. Maybe his route will be longer than the other guys, since he should have some more answers, uh, being that he's on the other team. I really hope so. Alright, uh, well, anyway, let's hope he shows up in the next episode. I hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.